Right. I bought it around 150,000. Why I bought the, the, the ram of 65,000? The one I got, small one, 50,000. Mm, but uh, even before we get it, it's like roaming about uh, the entire market. It, it, is not, it wasn't easy to, to get one, but we give glory to Almighty Allah. The most important thing is that we, we are living and uh, we, we have the grace to have at least one. With what I'm seeing, I just feel, anyway, maybe because of the salad things around, the price is just what they are mentioning here as to the price. As in, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I could describe it because when you are saying a ram is a uh, hundred thousand one twenty, how much will a cow cost? Do you get it? Uh -huh. Maybe I mean I don't a cow of, uh, I mean my friend, they just bought a cow in their church, big cow one thirty five or so. Now, one small ram, somebody is saying 100,000 there. Yeah. So, I don't know. So we came to buy a ram, but we no not say ram to buy because the ram is too expensive. It's too cost. We can rally round about. I don't know where Nigeria is going because we went to the market, we can't buy ram. We are priced the fat. I really, really saw this time point because Nigeria is. We don't know what you want to come. 70,000, 80,000. So we cannot buy the ram. The ram and cattle dealers who over the years have experienced a boom in sales decried this year's patronage, believing the recession affected consumers' purchasing power, which impacted their business. In terms of this year, are people really buying rams more compared to last year? Oh, no. It's, uh, the only thing that we say, thank God. This time around, we, uh, there is no money. You see the rams like this ram. Last year, you can see it, it will reach like 130, 140, but this time around, this, uh, the money is not here to that one. 85, 90, 85, 90, 87, 75. We will collect. But this time, just we say, thank God, sir, come give me one. The big one, we have like someone with 100, 90, 85, 95, 75, so we have them. Anyone. The lowest one is 60. 60,000 yes, But the only thing that we are facing is the problem of lack of money. Lack of money. People are complaining. So anyone, like people that before used to come buy 10, 20, some of them they will buy like 50, 100. But this time around, they will not come. We have like some customers that used to supply to companies or other things. Last year, if you come, we are even past that filling station. Rams, each and everything. People are plenty or that time. But this time around, you see, these are the limitations of the people. Rising cost of livestock in the country, Nigerians will this year have to weigh their options and do more bargaining. With a challenging economic phase, it will be a time for prudence and effective management of available resources. back okay uh, as funny as that report is you know but this, this is a serious issue because yeah. for muslims it, it is not uh very pleasant that you know there's such a big festival such as this and you cannot afford to be part of it because of uh, <laughs> of no money <laughs> chooks <laughs> since you are looking like the allergy today <laughs> let's start with you okay you know is um I, i'll be very direct about this okay. number one is that you have to understand that the economy is not good mm -hmm. and the people don't really have money. Mm -hmm. And then it's, um, I don't know how to pin it so that you get the message I'm trying to pass, but a lot of people actually bought RAM like last month. These are people, ordinary people, don't deal in RAM, mm -hmm. but they think it's another way to make some money during SAR. Mm -hmm. So they bought this thing cheaper. Mm. It kept them somewhere, feeding them, hoping to make. I, I just wanted to see the issue of fuel crisis when people hoard fuel, mm -hmm. and then some guy does mm -hmm. black market. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what has happened with draft, mm -hmm. especially in the cities. That's one. Secondly, is that this salary is coming before salaries are paid. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have not earned salary for the month. That's why 
the sellers are even selling on credit. On credit. Because they know that at the end of the month, the they should be able to yeah. settle. Mm. Then again, is that, um, you know, it, that, that's generally the problem. And then, uh, you know, workers, once workers are not paid, that's a problem. I was listening on, to the radio yesterday and um, someone in the kitty was issuing ultimatum that they are going on strike mm -hmm. because they were not paid. And I said, this guy is a joker. Hmm. The governor of a kitty owed you up to eight months and all through the election you did not hold hmm. the governor to say this guy has not paid, you are not qualified to bring anybody. Then when the party lost the election, you are, you are trusting him to go on strike. You know, so I think it's generally about people not having money to be able to do this and the fact that it has become more like a business opportunity for people, mm. like a seasonal thing. Mm. So people look forward to it. Mm. At the end of the day, the people who will suffer most are the ones who are not really original uh, cattle and um, uh, ram dealers. Those who just want to use it to make money. They are the ones moving the, the, the ram around, knowing to whether after, if they can't sell it now, they have a problem. Mm. The guy who deals in RAM will still keep them where he keeps them. Are, are those the middlemen? The those middle are, men, those are the middlemen. Okay, that's okay, that's okay ma'am. I'm going to look at it in a different angle. Mm. Uh, I read so many articles on why the problem. The major problem some of the dealers said was they procured these rams from Chad, Niger, mm. Sudan, Cameroon. The conflicts up north have made them not to be able to travel to get these things. Mm. The problem also has made the transportation system to be very bad. I read a, a, an article where the mala said that normally in Lagos State, they bring in up to 100 trailers of ram daily. Mm. But today they struggle to bring in one. So they don't have enough ram. That's why you said that some are hoarding it to sell mm. at this period. No, it's not so. They, they simply don't have enough rams. The mm. ones they have within Nigeria are mm. much expensive. Mm. And that is what is militating against them putting the high price. Mm. Some rams that were sell, uh, sold last year, 70,000, they're selling them now for 150, mm. 120. Mm. The least price is 40,000. Mm. And a man said he has visited the ram cattle three times. All in the bid to see if you can get a cheaper a price. Cheaper, it cheaper is price. not easy. No, because uh, I know the point you're making is valid, but I'm talking out of experience. Mm. I have a neighbor just beside my house. Okay. They got like five. <laughs> and they are all gone like outside. Yes, no, the, the, so the, no, the issue so here is also that the man that was interviewed said in the normal situation that one person can come in and buy 300 uh, grams at uh, a time. To give he out. said, but the highest he has seen in this festive period was 100 being bought at a time. Yeah. Somebody have 45 grams. He said, as he's talking today, as of yesterday evening, that he has sold only 15. The problem is one, workers are not being paid, some are being owed. Mm. The problem also is uh, poverty in the land. Mm. Poverty in the land. Not only poverty in the land, the problem also is because you and me could not afford to eat three square meal. So people that could not eat three square meal, how would they buy ram? Mm. The system of picking four people together or ten people to go and buy ram, people now could not even afford to come together to buy rams because of the poverty level. Okay. I mean, we are just out of recession, so <laughs> obviously the income level mm. is down. Mm. Many states are not paying mm. salary, so there's no money. I mean, that will be the result. Mm. But I think one thing that the, the, the Islam, uh, the Islam religion, which is uh, be contented and don't overstretch you yourself, mm -hmm. is never compulsory. You know, if you are not able to buy this year. You know, pray to God and hope that next year we'll be able to buy. In fact, there's booming chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that well, even chicken, is chicken, 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 the chicken sellers are happy now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one says, in fact, uh, Muslim traders are not always, uh, uh, they are not always fair to us, fair to fair us, to okay, us. fair to us, when Salah comes near. Isn't it the same thing we experienced during Christmas? Yeah, Everything exactly. just same becomes, thing. yeah. This one says the low patronage was caused by government. Instead of focusing on Nigeria's economy, but they focus on today, APC, tomorrow, Oshomole mm. versus Saraki, mm. every day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think uh, Mr. Cheson made a very valid point, you mm. know. Uh, I don't think any of the religion, the two religions, you know, Maybe actually compulsory. made anything compulsory. Yeah. Like if you don't, buy a ram, you can't celebrate salad. So if you can afford it, 
Bye. Good. If you cannot, just be happy. Your heart is seen yeah, by the Yeah, wear your best clothes and, you know, just be part of the yeah. celebration and all of that. But this is also part of the issue, you know, on food insecurity and all of mm -hmm. that. I mean, more people need to go into farming to make it, because if rounds are flooding, flooding it's everywhere, it's part of it, yeah. flooding it's everywhere, the prices exactly. will be, you it know. Come down. We have yes. malnutrition, stunted growth in Nigeria. Mm. You know, UNIFES ranked Nigerian children to be among the highest number of stunted children. Mm. Six million Nigerian children were regarded to be stunted in mm. growth. Mm. And that gives about 37%. Because they are not being fed properly. And the world average is 25 percent and now nigeria has 37 percent mm. of stunted growth children is that not frightening mm. and we are uh, and uh, the hungriest country nigeria is rated number 20 mm. as we are talking today mm. no it's frightening mm. Mm. We need, find them. we need to do something we need to do something you know, with the election coming now positions are holding on to their money um, but four so years ago, money was coming up. Yeah, for yeah. And they're holding on to their money. <laughs> this time around, it's just now. But when they need it, we're in the era of both both buying, both buying, both buying. Both buying. No so you, you, have buy. to, you have to keep the money till so the day of the election. Four years so ago, the era of giving, the era of giving things, the financial is over. You wait for the day. You buy the vote. You buy the vote. So that you have to go with what you have. How did we get here? That's it. These are some of the realities that are staring us in the face. All right. Okay, we have one more topic for today. <laughs> Buhari threatens to jail more looters. Uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, soon after he arrived from his 10-day uh, vacation, said he was going to jail more of the thieves that brought economic problems to the country. He said, and I quote, I think this is being expected of me. I will do, do it. it, end of quote. Oh, he, however, oh, advised politicians <laughs> to provide <laughs> the necessary dividends of democracy to the people as well as sensitive, uh, sensitize their constituents to get the permanent voters card and uh, also to freely vote for the candidate of their choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, uh, jailing more looters. Uh, we know that some school of thought actually think this whole... Uh, fight it's against corruption thing, you know, it's it's like right. abracadabra yeah, and all of that. But then the, the president coming out to emphatically, you know, make that statement that he will do it. Uh, are we expecting something out of this statement, really? Well, I think we should. We should. Um, the law is very clear. Anybody that commits any crime should be tried by the courts mm -hmm. and if found guilty, should be jailed. Mm. Uh, I believe that's what the president is saying. He's not saying he's going. He, he himself is going to jail yeah, them yeah, because yeah. He, can't, he doesn't have that power. power. Do that. He's the judiciary. And um, yes, there are various opinions, maybe two school of thoughts on the, the performance of this government on one of its major agenda that mm. is corruption fighting. Some are saying that um, you know uh, is uh, they are not neutral in their approach. Mm. They, are, they are focusing on one side at the expense of the other. But another school of thought is saying, at least we are catching some people, <laughs> whether they are just uh, PD people or not. Or not. Yeah. The fact that they are being jailed. And uh, the, the APC people have even tried to debunk that by showing that some of the people, some of the big catches who were jailed were actually members of their party. The senator Dari and uh, That's the only one. Uh, mm -hmm. the set, 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 it's so not, it's the, it's not the only one. one. Tarabas, the Jolly is also APC. 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 Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, one time um, EFCC even came out that in the life of this regime, they uh, tried and jailed over 600 people, 603, mm. specifically in the last three years, mm. over 603 now. And uh, many of them are high profile, some judges. Some senior advocates of Nigeria, mm. you know, those are, that have not been happening in the past. Mm. It's just the petty thieves that have been arrested and jailed. Many civil servants are not that It's happened. I think more of that should happen. If APC is not doing enough in jailing members of their party, another party will come back Nigeria, another day yeah. and also deal with those ones. Mm. Because crime, you know, it doesn't have limit. There's no limitation period for crime. Hmm. It can be picked any time, 20 hmm. years after, 30 years after. Okay. I think the government should just carry on. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah fighting corruption is good, but uh, I think Nigerian government should be looking at ways of blocking the loopholes. It's like a rat is always passing through this hole to come and eat my fish. Instead of me to block the hole, 
I'm going to remove the fish and keep it somewhere else. Another rat will come in through the same hole. So I expect the federal government to find a solution to know and nip the bot in the head mm -hmm. where those stealing or looting takes place. Mm. The, there should be a, a, a means of tackling this thing not to happen rather than waiting when the regime comes exactly. in, you say mm -hmm. you are fighting to get money back. Mm -hmm. You are getting it back, putting it. Some people are planning on how to take it back from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So there should always be a way to say, this is how to guide against people looting. Mm -hmm. they are, because, and again, the government is being looked at, uh, like Sunny said, it's not a Sunny. Mm. Yeah, is this Sunny Shehu or whatever? Shehu Sunny. Shehu Shehu Sunny. Mm -hmm. He said that the presidency used deodorant to on the on his own people while he uses uh, what's the killer insecticide, insecticide to, to, to shoot the mm. opponent. Mm. But I don't think I will say that the government is being one sided. Mm. Are they really cashing the looters? Are they really getting those people mm. who are doing these things? Yeah, it might look so because people like Akwabio mm. had issues. So people are saying if people like Baba Baba Chia should will not be tried. People like uh, the former uh, DSS head, mm. who, whose house they say they found so much money could mm. not be tried. People like Yadu uh, Ashun with face certificate, they are all corruption. People like uh, Alleged, uh, allegedly. Uh, uh, allegedly. Uh -huh. People like uh, Oko, Oko Bla, or what did they call it? Obla, Obla, or whatever, Oko Obla, with fake Wayak result <laughs> that they allege and that the register even came and said it's a fake this thing. There are so many people who are antagonizing this government saying that they should start the house cleansing. From, their, from themselves. From yeah. Yes, Dariye was jailed, uh, Nyame was jailed, uh, there are certain presidents, but they need to do more mm. within. Because even somebody like a uh, former, uh, or the president aviation minister, mm. had a, a clause on him that he used 40 billion to sponsor the presidential ambition of the present administration. And there's a man that is even being looked upon now, they said he's the head of finance or something like that, who many millions or billions of money have been linked to. And yet, the man is still in government because he promised to finance the presidency in his bid to win election in 2019. There might be hearsay, That's but there's right. no smoke without fire. Mm. Yeah. Yes, there, there might be hearsay, <laughs> you know. But all these things, the government should stand firm and don't look at anybody because we actually voted Buhari because people were thinking he has integrity. But when some little things are being covered, or pushed under the rug, mm. like you know, most people that are working within his administration, Nigeria feel that oh, he's like condoning bad things because he's very lenient. Mm. He should not be lenient to anyone at all. Let mm. him be fair. Mm. We we seek for fairness, equity, mm. law and justice. Mm. You know, around all spheres, mm. not you know, hand picking people okay. who are in opposition. Okay, all right, Chooks. You know, I'm not worried about what Buhari is doing. Mm -hmm. I'm really not worried. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, oh, Chooks is a Buhari supporter, but I'm more worried about what happens when Buhari leaves. goes. Hmm. Whether you'll be back to school or <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, people come and talk about one-sided fight, and I said, look, in the history of Nigeria, we have a government that actually came out and published the list of those who have entered this country, made it public. This, and say, this is how much this man stole. Who, 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 does, who, who did that before now? Do we, are we going to have another president that also published names? So we'll know exactly who are the problems of Nigeria. We have jailed two former governors. One of them, current serving senator. Senator, yeah. I think we should yeah, be fair in our analysis. Mm -hmm. In this country, we found how much in the Banana Island mm -hmm. abandoned. Mm -hmm. Under this government, we busted where former NNPC man somewhere in Kanu or Kaduna that he packed money, money, money and used yeah. AC to be no, chilling no, 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 in the chilling yeah, there. Right? Innocent people were passing, hungry people were passing through the area. In this country, somebody <sighs> went to Kaduna Airport, airport. during the closure of Abuja Airport and, and abandoned money. 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 Mm. So you see, the one in Ekoi, that's another Ekoi. Ekoi money. You know, we need to understand that. You see, you can't fight. I think Buari too 
he, he has also un understood because I, I was saying that somebody needs to tell this man that he alone can't fight for corruption. Yes, it's not possible. No. You know, he was saying, I'm going to fight corruption, I'm going to jail. You no, can't jail you anybody can't jail. until the court sends the people to jail. Exactly. He's so not the judiciary. How are we dealing with this? Are we going to set up special courts? That will not go through the usual bureaucracy of a case lasting yeah. for six years. I think years. that is needed. Mm. That's what we need to do. We need a special court to so try corrupt if you check practices. Check Darius' case. Mm. It didn't start under this government. Mm. No. So from that, England. So is from that England. how long? Yes, mm -hmm. Even before. We we'll, we'll still have Allah uh, say. issue of uh, former from minister of the we We're mm -hmm. waiting for her to come in. Mm -hmm. So you see, Nigerians must join hands to fight corruption. It's not a Buhari fight. If you think Buhari is, is fighting only one side, when you get there, fight the other fight side. The other That's side. my own position. That's always. the question okay. I asked too. All right, let's yeah. see what the viewers are saying quickly because of time. In fact, I want Nigerians to support Mr. President in fighting corruption. Uh, people like, I won't mention names and others, and the judiciary should also consider the future of their children. Ah, is there anything really... Like fighting, uh, like fight against corruption. Please, somebody should educate me. I think what Nigerians need is a reform system mm -hmm. that can be prevented from corruption, mm -hmm. not policies and mm -hmm. action that will only last for a while. Uh, <laughs> this one says, this man with aboki clothes <laughs> has just made my salad. <laughs> it should be made PMB campaign spokesman. <laughs> Up you, Chooks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this one says, good afternoon. It's a good development for the president to jail looters, but let him start with his own cabinet mm -hmm. uh, first. Uh, this other one says, uh, Buhari is not fighting corruption, but which haunting members of PDP. Of course, I expected someone to write that in. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this one says... Um, all the looters should be jailed to scare those who may wish to go mm -hmm. into it. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for that. That's as yeah. much as we can take. Our time is up. <laughs> but it's been a very good discussion yeah. this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thank, you. thank you so very much, Barista uh, Chesson Akisoya. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mrs. Thank Nelly you. Ago. Thank and you thank you, Mr. Chooks Uwani. Thank, thank you. you. Happy salad to everybody. Yeah, Happy salad. Where are we going, Chooks? I'm, salad. I'm already dressed. Yes, yeah, you're dressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. We'll be back tomorrow at noon. Join us again.